Okay, question number 15 on our final exam review gives you some information and it asks you to write an equation of a line and it wants the final answer in slope intercept form, which means the final answer has to be in the form y equals mx plus b. m is the slope and b is the y intercept. So let's look at the paper. All right, come on down with me to the paper and we'll look at the problem and we'll work through. Okay, here's our data. We're asked to find the equation of the line that goes through the ordered pair 2, negative 3, whose slope is 4. Now, remember what we're doing, or what we're looking for, is we eventually want our answer to be in the form y equals mx plus b. Now, so far in this problem, they've given us the slope, which is m but they have not given us the y-intercept, which is b. So let me show you kind of a neat little way to find b. We do know that one point on the line is the ordered pair 2, negative 3. 2 is the x value, and negative 3 is the y value. So if I want to find b, one of the quickest ways of doing that that I like to show my students, take the form y equals mx plus b, temporarily replace y with negative 3. We know that m is given to be 4. Temporarily replace x with 2. And we don't know b. So we have negative 3 equals 4 times 2 plus b. Negative 3 is equal to 8 plus b. And to find b, we take this equation and subtract 8 from both sides, which gives me that b is equal to negative 11. Now, here's what's really nice. We just found b. We already knew m. m was given to be 4. So we can take those two pieces of information and write our answer. y equals mx plus b, and let's plug in the data. m is 4 and b is negative 11, therefore our answer, y equals 4 times x minus 11. And this is the equation of my line. So it's really kind of neat. You start off by using the formula y equals mx plus b. You plug in what you know for x, y, and m, and solve for b. And then you take the value for b, you take the value for m, and as your final answer, plug into the formula y equals mx plus b, and you automatically have your answer in slope-intercept form. And we're done.